okay my dear students so today we will start with the numericals of chapter number 7 lenses right this chapter is very important not only for this year but if you in case you decide to take physics continue in your 11 and 12 okay you will always remember me for a few things that i might have taught you in this chapter right now first for the formula last year we did mirrors right if you recollect the formula very good otherwise it's not really required for this year but the formula for lenses are as follows the first one is 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u now what is my u u is object distance u is object distance right and what is v v is image distance the distance that the image is formed from the lens okay we did this in the ray diagrams okay where the object and image is formed and of course my f is my focal length okay the focal length of the lens whether it is the concave lens or the convex lens now in order to find the magnification m is for magnification my formula is v upon u which is equal to h2 upon h1 where h1 is height of object and h2 is the height of the image right now all this is perfectly fine but what is very very important where this chapter is concerned are the sign conventions okay sign conventions are extremely important because if you do not know sign conventions we cannot solve the numericals you would make a lot of mistakes in the numericals now we have to first follow the cartesian axis right the axis the y axis and the x axis right and like how it is in the x and y axis whatever is to the right is always positive whatever is to the left is always negative whatever is above is always positive and whatever is below the principal axis is always negative now this is my principal axis if you remember we draw drew the diagrams the ray diagrams okay this is my principal axis right and this is where i place my lens maybe concave or convex right so whatever i draw to the left of this whatever is this side will be negative whatever is on this side okay on the other side this side is negative right and on this side whatever is drawn is positive so negative and positive on this side it is positive okay whatever is above the principal axis above the principal axis this above is negative sorry is positive and whatever is below okay below the principal axis is negative so above positive below the principal axis negative right so this sign convention you have to very very clearly remember and if you remember this sign convention you must know that where will i always place my object my object is always placed to the left of the lens so u that is object distance is always negative okay it's always negative u is always negative and v is v can be negative as well as positive now i'll tell you how when we can take v as positive and when we take it as negative now secondly if u is always negative my height of the object where do i place my object where do i place my object i place it above the principal axis so h1 is always positive h1 is always positive and u is always negative now remember this focal length concave lens concave okay it caves in okay so concave lens ka focal length is always negative 
even mirror right but i'm not writing and confusing you okay so we are talking about lenses we will worry only about lenses and my focal length of my convex lens is always positive right so whether i talk about focal length or i talk about the power power of a concave lens is always negative and power of a convex lens is always positive so this is my cartesian axis if you remember the x and y axis and this is my principal axis and this is how i draw the lens right so remember left negative right positive above positive and below negative now please remember what about v what about v now till now we were talking about u what about v can we tell me can you tell me something about image distance right now where are the images formed sometimes the images are formed on right side and sometimes they are formed on the left side if they are formed on the left side they will be negative if they are formed on the right side they will always be positive right but when i am talking about h2 height of the image now we have learned right real images are always inverted it is always real and inverted so for real and inverted images h2 will be negative because it is inverted so it comes down and for virtual images so virtual images are always erect right virtual and not or and erect so virtual images are always positive they are always positive so now just to let you revise this sign convention okay you can write this down okay very carefully always remember now here i will since you know your u v everything okay i will tell you some important points right first and foremost u always u is always negative always negative okay and h1 h1 is always positive always positive focal length and power okay concave is negative let me write it with red since i'm writing on uh, negative with red and convex is positive always remember it is real and inverted always it is real and inverted so for real images h1 negative negative for real images h1 negative so it is virtual virtual and erect so for virtual images h1 not h1 ah uh, sorry image na so image is h2 okay so for virtual images h2 is positive not h1 h2 is positive h1 is always positive h1 is always positive h2 is negative if it's a real image h2 is positive if it is a virtual image right so this is the start these are my formula okay so this is my important page this has my formula okay and sign convention which you can remember correct now let us start with the numericals now in order to find the numericals the questions for the numericals of course you have to refer to your textbook okay of course you have to refer to your textbook okay but if you are watching my video okay you can refer to 
if you are watching my video you can refer to the link below okay i have attached the questions over there okay so i will solve this now see my first sum i am reading the question for you okay then i will write what is given and what i have to find okay now my first question is like this a 5 cm high object a 5 cm high ob object so h1 is 5 cm now when you write 5 cm please put the sign convention immediate h1 always positive i am not going to put that plus sign okay now is placed at a distance of 25 cm is placed so object is placed means that is my object distance how many cm 25 cm okay i told you very clearly when it is object distance immediately take it as negative 25 okay from a converging lens that's why i left place on the top what type of lens is it converging okay which are converging lenses which lenses are converging lenses my convex lens is converging you remember we drew the diagram concave is diverging convex is converging right so i wrote convex okay converging so convex okay so 5 cm high object is placed at a distance of 25 cm from a converging lens of focal length focal length of the convex lens they are giving you is 10 cm now please understand again convex lens so my focal length is always positive convex lens is positive right then find the position size and type of image so to find to find position position means i must find out image distance position means image distance okay then size size means height of the image and type of image and i have to find out type of image right i have to find out the type of image now see my solution right what is my first formula i am going to take first i want to find out v i have f and u so can i use 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u this is my formula this is my formula right therefore therefore One upon what is f ten centimeter equal to one upon v. I have to find out v minus my u is negative, so therefore this will become positive one upon twenty five. You can write one extra step, no problem. But I I don't think this is that difficult. Now look at this, right? or we'll write it still we'll put minus here and then minus here and this minus and minus will become plus now we will take see this is my unknown on the right hand side so i will bring the unknown on the left hand side so i will write 1 upon v i'm just exchanging the places so i'm not changing any sign but i can take this minus and minus becomes 1 upon 25 equal to 1 upon 10 correct so therefore <coughs> therefore 1 upon v Equal to one upon ten minus one upon twenty-five. Now, what do I do to find out this? Now I must take the LCM of ten and twenty-five. I will take the LCM of ten and twenty-five. Correct. Five. Two za. Five za. Two. 
ones are fives are and then you have five at the end so five twos are ten ten fives are fifty so my lcm is fifty okay another way to take lcm you know to write the common multiples right now 10 will go into 50 how many times 5 times and 25 will go into 50 how many times 2 times. So 5 ones are 5 minus 2 ones are 2. So this is equal to 3 upon 50. Therefore V is equal to 50 upon 3. 50 upon 3. Now, 50 upon 3, if you do long division, you will get 16.7 centimeters. So, that is my image distance. My image distance is 16.7 centimeter. Okay. Now, this is not the end. Right. I have to still go ahead. Now, let's take this. Right. Let's take this up here. And let's keep this here. Now for the next one, I have to use magnification. So, I will say magnification is equal to V upon U, which is equal to H2 upon H1, right? Now, nobody asked me to find out magnification. So, I will leave the magnification out. What I will do is, I will simply take, therefore, V upon u equals to h2 upon h1. Let us substitute now. How much is v? Now, don't take the 16.7. Whenever there is point, you always tend to make a mistake. Take it as 50 upon 3. So, we will write 50 upon 3 multiplied by object distance is minus 25. See here, I am keeping all this ready for you. Okay, minus 25, u is equal to minus 25. Can you see this? Okay, u is minus 25 equals to h1, 5 centimeter, uh, sorry, h2, I have to find out upon h1 is 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter. Okay, very clear. So, therefore, h2 upon 5 equal to 50 3 multiplied by minus 25. Therefore, H2 equals to 50 into 5 upon minus 25 into 3. 25 ones are 25 twos are so, that becomes minus 10 upon 3, minus 10 upon 3, right? So, therefore, H2 is equal to minus 10 upon 3, which is equal to 3.3 .3 centimeter, negative 3.3. Okay, all this is fine. Now, my H2 is minus 3.3 .3 centimeter. Okay, we understood till here. But, what is very important is my final answer now. See here, first and foremost, image distance. Image distance equals to, what is my image distance? 16.7 centimeter. Next, height of image. Now, please note, when we write height of image, we won't write minus sign. We will put 3.3 centimeter. What does this negative sign say? The negative sign denotes that the image is inverted. Okay, if H2 is negative, it means it's an inverted image. Okay, whenever H2 is negative, it is an inverted image. So, what will I say? Okay, it is a real It is a real and inverted 
image it is a real and inverted image because i got my but my height of my image is 3.3 so what type of image is this this is my real and inverted this is my answer my answer that i'm going to give okay is this very clear okay take some time and copy it the final answer you cannot write positive here you, have, you cannot write negative here you have to write height of image is 3.3 but the negative sign shows that it is a real and inverted image. Okay, now let's go to the second question. Let's go to the second question. Now, what is given to us? Let us see. I am reading these questions. Okay. An object kept. 20 centi sorry 60 centimeter from a lens an object kept 60 centimeter from a lens right 60 centimeter means object kept 60 centimeter means u correct so u is minus always u is negative i keep repeating u is always negative gives a virtual image 20 centimeters in front of the lens. 20 centimeters in front of the lens. What is the meaning of in front of the lens? This is my lens. In front of it means on this side. Behind it means that side. Right? On the other side and in front. Actually, it's not the word used is not in front. On the same side of the lens as the object. Okay? That is the actual word used. But whenever they say virtual Okay, virtual images, in the case of virtual images, you know that H2 is positive and V, please remember, is negative. Okay, V is negative. Is that clear? Okay, because virtual images are always formed on the left side. Okay, so my V here is equal to minus 20 centimeter. Correct? Now, what is the focal length of the lens? What is the focal length of the lens? We have to find out the focal length of the lens. So, to find focal length of the lens means I have to find out f. Focal length of the lens. We don't require this. We have understood it. Right? So, we will just keep, take that away. Is there any other? In, now, what is the focal length of the lens? Is it a converging lens or diverging? Okay. So, is it converging or diverging okay this is very simple i have to find out the focal length nothing else so what is my formula i will use my formula i will use will be 1 upon f equal to 1 upon V minus 1 upon U. Okay. Whenever you write, please write formula. Okay. Formula. Right. Therefore, now 1 upon F, I have to find out the focal length. This is unknown. What is my V? minus 20. What is my u? u is minus 60. I told you I will write it plus because this minus and minus becomes plus. If you want you can write that extra step. Right. Therefore 1 upon f equals to what is my LCM of 20 and 60. Right. I showed you last time in that method. Okay. The factorized method. I can also show you in another method. Tell me that tables of 20, 20, 40, 60, my tables of 60, 60, 120, of course so on, which is the least common multiple, 60, so my LCM or my least common multiple is 60, okay, so this is another way, there are two ways to find LCM, right, so this is 60, now minus 20 will go into 60 how many times, minus 3 times, 23s are and plus 1, 61s are, right. Therefore, 1 upon f 
is equal to minus 2 upon 60. Okay, therefore F is equal to 60 upon minus 2 which is equal to minus 30 centimeter. Correct? Now, what is the focal length? Actually, when you write focal length, you write focal length is 30 centimeter. The negative sign indicates that it is what type of a lens? It is a concave lens, right? So, this is my final answer. How will I write the answer, right? How will I write the answer, okay? My answer will be written like this. Answer, okay? Focal length is 30 centimeter. The negative sign denotes that it is a concave or diverging. lens. However, your answer in the textbook is given as negative, negative 30, but I feel we have to write focal length is 30 centimeters and this statement that the negative sign denotes that it is a concave lens. Is this clear? This was easier than the first sum. It's only one part sum, right? Now, we'll go to the next question. The next question, let me rub this out. Okay, then let me rub this out. Now, see my third question. My third question, those were exercise questions. This is from my solved example. Okay, which is on page, solved example, which is on page 86. Solved example, which is on page 86. Right? Those were my textual examples. So this is my solved example on page 86. Right? Now, let me read the question for you. Let me read my question for you. An object is placed vertically at a distance of 20 centimeter from a convex lens. So, first you write what type of lens is it? It is a convex lens for your just to keep repeating, I will say convex lens means it is a converging lens. Concave means diverging lens, right? Now, an object is placed vertically at a distance of 20 centimeters from a convex lens. So, my U is, what is my U equal to? Whatever lens it is, convex, concave lens, the object is always placed on the left hand side. So, U is always minus 20 centimeter. U is always minus 20 centimeter. If the height of the object is 5 centimeter, so H1 is equal to 5 centimeter. Now tell me, will H1 be positive or negative? Obviously, it will be positive. H1 will be positive, correct? Because height H1 is always positive because the object is always placed above the lens. Uh, about the principal axis, about the principal axis, not about the lens, about the principal axis. And the focal length of the lens is 10 centimeters. So, F equals to 10 centimeter. Convex, so it is positive. When it is positive, I do not write the sign. What will be the position, size and nature of the image? Okay. So, to find Position means I will find out. V. Size means I will find out. H2. Then nature. Okay. And how much bigger will the object, will the image be as compared to the object means I have to find out the magnification. I have to find out the magnification. Okay. Correct. Come on, let us start first with the simplest. 
okay we have done come on tell me all of you tell the, the say the formula wait for some time pause and say the formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u here in the bracket i must write formula correct is that clear therefore now what is 1 upon f 1 upon 10 equals to 1 upon v this is minus so this is also minus so i always told you it becomes 20 now i always tell okay to make it convenient which where is my unknown on the right hand side i don't want it on the right hand side i want it on the left hand side so change the position 1 upon v plus 1 upon 20 equals to 1 upon 10 therefore 1 upon v equals to 1 upon 10 minus 1 upon 20 okay because of lack of space i'm writing at the side because i never write steps like this 10 and 20 lcm is 20 come on this is an easy one right as i told you tables of 10 10 20 dot 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 tables of 20 20 40 dot dot dot, dot. least common multiple is 20 so my lcm is 20 correct that's only for repeating it again and again 20 now 10 will go into 20 how many times two times 20 will go into 20 how many times one time so 2 minus 1 so therefore v is equal to becomes reciprocal 20 upon 1 so v is equal to 20 centimeter okay the positive image says which side is my the positive sign for v says that on which side is the image formed? It is formed on, to the right of the lens. Okay. So, the positive, the positive sign indicates the positive sign indicates that the image is formed that the image is formed 20 centimeter that the image is formed 20 centimeter on the other side of the lens okay so right side right side of the lens right my object is on the left so this is placed on the right side okay so this is my first thing now let me go ahead okay now let me find out the next thing what is the next thing i have to find out the next thing i have to find out is i have to find out h2 the next thing i have to find out is h2 come on let me find out h2 right now which is my formula i'll use magnification equal to v upon u which is equal to h2 upon h1 check your sign conventions once again okay you must always check the sign conventions right now first and foremost right now i am not going to first see on c2 magnification i will say v upon u equal to h2 upon h1 in this sum i have to find out magnification huh? by the way but i will say v upon u equal to h2 upon h1 how much is v how much is v just now we found out v we found out v as 20 how much is u u is minus 20 don't forget the sign otherwise you will get the sum wrong h2 upon 5 right therefore h2 upon 5 is equal to minus 1 when i cancel this therefore h2 is equal to minus 5 centimeter now what do you say the height of the image height of image is 5 centimeter don't write negative sign 
the negative sign indicates that it is a what type of image it is an inverted image so what are inverted image is always real and inverted so real and inverted image correct yes or no hmm? now what is my magnification now tell me what is magnification now my magnification equals to v upon u so 20 upon minus 20 which is equal to minus 1 right that means it is not magnified so it is of the same size okay the image is of the same size as that of the object okay so the image is of the same size as that of the object okay now is it above the principal axis or below the principal axis obviously below the principal axis because inverted means below the principal axis correct so this is it okay now we'll go to sum number 4 sum number 4 three lenses having power 2 2.5 P1, okay, so this is given. P1 is equal to 2, P2 is equal to 2.5, P2 is equal to 2.5. Power of the lens unit is diopter. P3 is equal to 1.7. Am I right? Diopter. Correct. Are kept touching in a row. This is my exercise question. Correct. Exercise question sum number 3. Exercise question sum number 3. The first two were sum number 2 and sum number 4. I didn't give you the sum numbers at that time. Right? Now, what are we to find? We have to find the power of the lens combination. The power of the lens combination. Right? Very simple. Very simple solution. Power P1 plus P2 plus P3. Extremely simple sum. 2, 2 5, 1 .7. 6 .2 diopter. 1.7, 6.2 diopter. Please write your answer statement. Answer statement that total power of the lens combination is 6.2 diopter is 6.2 diopter is this clear this is an easy sum very easy sum compared to the rest that we did right Let's move on to the next question. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 5.
which is my solved example. Question number five. This is my solved example, which is on page. I think the page is eighty six. Page eighty six. Okay, solved example. Page eighty six. Correct. Now, what is given to me? What is given to me? The focal length of a convex lens is twenty centimeter. So, convex lens, right? So you know my focal length is how much? Whenever it's concave, it is negative. Convex, it is positive, right? Convex, it is positive. Correct. Now. So my focal length is twenty centimeter. I need not put positive negative because oh sorry, I need not put the positive sign because it's a convex. It is positive, right? Now, when I need to find power, okay, always remember power of the lens. The formula is. Focal length has be has to be okay. So one of the foc one upon focal length in meter. Now my focal length has to be in meter. Here it is in centimeter. So first you convert it to meters. So twenty centimeter means twenty upon hundred. This zero, this zero cancel. So that is equal to zero point two. Meter. This is my focal length, zero point two meter. So my power is equal to one upon. Now you write zero point two. So cancel this and put ten. Ten upon two is five diopter. Five diopter. So power of the lens. Is five diopters positive sign? What type of lens? Convex lens. So therefore, positive. Convex lens is used to cure hypermetropia. Is that clear? And now the last sum, okay, which is my sum, which is in my exercise, the first question of my exercise. Okay, the first question of my exercise. So, this is okay. So, exercise eight. It's exercise question eight point one. Exercise question eight point one. Right. Correct. Now, I've also given the questions in the description box. Okay, for those who don't. Have these questions right now? Doctor has prescribed a lens having power one point five diopter plus one point five diopter. So given power equals to one point five diopter because it is positive. What type of lens is it? It is a convex lens. Is a convex lens because it is positive, correct? Then, what will be the focal length of the lens? So to find focal length of the lens, okay? And what must be the defect of vision? What is the type of lens? What is the type of lens? Okay. Type of lens. I already gave you the answer. Convex lens. And the defect. It is used to cure. Correct. Con convex lens is defect that it's used to cure is. Hypermetropia. Anyway, let's do 
do it in steps. It's the solution. First one, power equal to 1 upon focal length. My focal length is in meters. This is my formula. Therefore, power is 1.5 equals to 1 upon F. Therefore, F is equal to, I bring this down, 1 upon 1.5. 10 upon 15. 2 upon 3. 2 upon 3. If I divide 2 by 3. Okay, let me just show you because sometimes you make a mistake here. 2 divided by 3. 0 point. 6 threes are 18. 2 remainder. 6. 0 0.66. Okay. So if I go on, so I can write it as 0 0.67 watt. Okay. So that is, what is the unit? 0 0.67. What is the unit? It is meter. Which is equal to 67 centimeter. Because sometimes if you give the answer in meter, they will ask you for the answer in centimeter. So you write both the answers. Okay. Just to make them happy. So they want to cut your marks, they will sometimes say, no, no, let the answer be in meter, let it be in centimeter, right? So you give them both the answers, let them also be happy, right? Now, answer is very important. Answer statement is very important, okay? Because they asked you type of lens, all these things they have asked you, right? Then, what is the answer statement? First question is, what is the focal length of the lens? So, right, focal length. is 0 0.67 meter or 67 centimeter with a slash, okay, 67 centimeter. Second thing, this is the first answer, second answer, okay, the type of lens, type of lens Convex. Type of lens, convex. Third, defect used to cure. Defect used to cure. Far sightedness. Or hypermetopia. 